morning. Winter storm warnings are in effect. They stay in effect through 6 a.m. tomorrow in the pink for Springfield. That's where we've got the winter storm warning in areas just to the north of the interstate advisories for smaller snow amounts down to the south. We're looking at this big bulk of snow coming in from uh, Oklahoma. It is arriving this morning with that snow starting to pick up and cover the roads. Uh, we're looking at some snow reports down in Monette. We've had uh, some pictures of a dusting uh, road starting to become more snow covered back to the west and back to the northwest here. We've had some freezing drizzle and light snow in Springfield this morning, probably starting out with the mix and then changing to snow. But again, things are increasingly starting to get covered to the west here. It's 31 degrees in Springfield right now. Temperature is still a little bit above freezing to the south and east. So road conditions will start out slick this morning in spots and then get worse as we head through the afternoon. That snow will really start to stick and I'm expecting snow covered roads by midday. We could be looking at some heavy snow setting up and it sets up through the early afternoon. Notice we still have ice to the south and east here. The intensity uh, from an inch an hour of snow will come down by the evening hours and then we're looking at some lighter snow on the overnight. Uh, we will be looking at about a 10 to 2 tenths of an inch of ice to the south and east of the interstate. This will be the story for them. The snow will be on the flip side about four inches of snow in Springfield totals up to six inches north of the interstate and then that steep cutoff to the south, maybe about an inch or less of snow in Branson. So we're looking at a very steep cutoff even across Greene County of that snow just really dropping off, not expecting much to the south because you'll have more of that icy mix and icy rain. So the snow heaviest by midday with the conditions deteriorating. Uh, we'll have a round two of light snow tonight and roads will be snow covered. Joe, Lauren. All right, our top story all day will be the weather and watching out as you get out on those roads. This is our Colorton Live Drive, and you can see that precipitation building up on the windshield pretty quickly. That's that freezing drizzle Elisa was talking about. Of course, you got to get that scraper and use those windshield wipers already and watch out on those bridges and overpasses. That MoDOT map is changing very fast, Lauren. It's way more color colorful than it's been all morning. You can see to our western counties, the purple means those roads are completely covered. Uh, still green to our eastern area, and then somewhere in the middle here, in the Springfield Metro. You'll even want to notice north if you're trying to get to Kansas City. You probably got to get on the road soon. Those roads are also affected too. Weather conditions continue to get worse and classes are also getting canceled. So you want to check OzarksFirst.com all day for your school closings. Dozens have canceled already, including Springfield Public Schools, among many, many more. So use that website to try and see and keep up to date. Those warnings are in effect all day, so it's important to be careful out there now. We spoke to MoDOT crews who have been prepping for this by monitoring the roads all night. Treatment for them usually begins when the temperature starts to get near 32 degrees, but we also spoke to some people in healthcare and other professions that have to get out on the roads today to see how they plan to handle those morning commutes. Road conditions tomorrow could be pretty hazardous, and you know, I'd advise drivers if they don't have to be out tomorrow to stay home. Healthcare is a profession that never stops. We have to be readily available to take care of our patients. No matter what the weather is doing outside, we're here. We've already pre-staged, it's called, our cots, our sleeping rooms, uh, linen, those types of things where we can have people shower and uh, brush their teeth. Again, again, the best advice possible is to stay off the roads if you don't have to get on them at all. Be sure to stay up to date with the Color 10 weather app as well. That'll be updated throughout the day and week and always really just to try and stay safe. And the moral of the story here <clears throat> is be careful, especially if you're one of the millions of people heading up to Kansas City for the Chiefs championship parade this morning. We caught up with a few fans who left either last night or were planning to go very early this morning to get their spot along the route. The forecast is not stopping them from seeing their team host the Lombardi Trophy for Chiefs Kingdom. If people are like, well, it's going to be cold, it's going to be snowy, and I'm like, yeah, but that really won't matter in 10 years when I'm thinking about, hey, I was at that parade, and that, and that was so much fun, basically like, you know, with like a million plus of your, your best friends. After uh, Damian Williams scored that last touchdown, we were pretty much, it was a lock, and, and I, I booked a room immediately just to make sure we were in for tonight, so we're driving up tonight. It'll be a sea or red, so we won't be able to find each other. We'll stick tight because uh, everybody will be wearing a 15 jersey. You can watch the blob of red starting at 11 a.m. on KOZL. We'll have live coverage of the parade.
We also have some education coverage for you today as Drury has a new exhibit highlighting the fight for equal rights. The Brown versus Board of Education exhibit shows the moments that led up to, during, and after the Supreme Court decision to desegregate schools. The exhibit consists of 12 posters with images, text, and quotes telling the story. Rosalind Thomas is the diversity coordinator at Drury and she helped bring this to Springfield. She explains this case really broke open civil rights because at the time, children couldn't go to the schools closest to them. Our children don't know our history, then they have no idea of the fight that, uh, that occurred in order to get them where they are. Even though I've seen the exhibit before, each time I look at it and each time I read it, I think I pick up something different from it. And I would encourage everybody here, here in Springfield and our Drury community to come by and actually read this. The exhibit is open to the public and schools K through 12. You can visit there in the Olin Library all month long. Also new for you this morning, statistics show one third of all burn injuries occur in kids under the age of 15. That's why Mercy Health officials are working to educate students on ways to prevent burns from occurring. Nyjah McDonald joins us live in studio this morning to share their efforts. Good morning, Nyjah. Well, good morning, Lauren and Joe. Excuse me. About 85 third graders at Willard Central Elementary attended an interactive burn safety presentation where they learned ways to keep themselves and their families safe. Now, this week is National Burn Awareness Week, and most fire related injuries are burns. In fact, approximately every 60 seconds, someone in the U.S. will sustain a burn injury serious enough to require treatment, which is one reason Safe Kids coordinator Becky Spain says it's important to teach students ways they can prevent themselves from being burned, which includes fire safety in the home and what to do in the event a fire starts. Students also learned about tools versus toys found inside their homes. Uh, we have a lot more things in our homes that are a danger to us because we often have fires in our fireplaces or we uh, build fires outside in fire pits and then this is also the time of year that we like to put pots of soup on the stove that cooks for a long period of time and those can be hazards with uh, kids pulling those over. We have more hot drinks that we're drinking in our homes. Well, Burn Awareness Week is observed each year during the first full week in February. Nigel McDonald, thank you. It's also your right to know the former owner of All About Smiles Dental Clinics in Springfield and Mountain Grove will spend two years and eight months in federal prison. 61-year-old Lauren Van Dry was convicted in a conspiracy to defraud the government. Prosecutors say he and his wife Pamela did not turn over payroll taxes and lived a lavish lifestyle while paychecks for their employees would bounce. Pamela was given four years and nine months in prison for her role in the crime. In some more local news, big day for the Ronald McDonald House. The organization will be receiving the annual food donation from the Missouri Farm Bureau later today. During that time, Mayor Ken McClure will also proclaim next week as Ronald McDonald House Week. The mayor does this each year as part of the Share a Heart campaign, which began January 29th. Last year, the campaign raised nearly 2100 nearly 125. There we go. Thousand dollars for the Ronald McDonald House of the Ozarks. It's that time of the morning when we tell you what's trending on Google. Uh, impeachment proceedings happening later today. President Trump is expected to be acquitted. That's right. That'll uh, come later on. We'll bring you that coverage, of course. And, of course, it follows up the State of the Union, mm -hmm. where uh, President Trump was really talking about his accomplishments and House Speaker Pelosi disagreeing, right? That's right. So we will have all that coverage for you on Color 10 throughout the day. But weather is also a huge headline. We've been checking road conditions for you this morning, and we'll continue to do so in the next few hours. Even within the last two hours, your maps have changed a bunch, right? Yeah. Right. Um, we've got the MoDOT map looking more colorful because this is what's headed our way. Again, about four inches of snow in Springfield. Totals closer to six, six, six inches to the north. But again, remember, cutoffs to the south will be steep. Not everyone gets the big totals. You're looking at about an inch of snow in Branson and probably more in the way of ice. So a big wintry day ahead for us. Warnings in effect through 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Snow exits by tomorrow morning. All right, Springfield Public School students have the day off. So do a lot of other kids out there. Enjoy it, but be safe. That's the bottom line. We'll see you back here at midday.